Final round of the Valero Texas Open from TPC San Antonio, where Stephen Bowditch was looking for his first win on tour. Scrambling, though, here at the fourth, had already given one shot away. Started the day with a three-shot lead, but suddenly it was gone. He would take double bogey at four. So plenty of other players getting into the mix, including Jim Furyk, looking for his first win since 2010. How about this long-range birdie putt close to 65 feet? and Furyk would have a couple of birdies early on the day. Bowditch now at fifth, trying to right the ship. Makes the birdie, he gets one shot back there, but quickly others were trying to move into contention. Matt Kuchar started the day three off the lead, but grabs a share of it with a birdie at the eighth. Kuchar contending, Andrew Luke, who had a tough front side playing in the final group, not wanting to go away, makes the birdie at 13. Luke looking for his best finish on tour. Bowditch now at the par 5 14th, just skips it up onto the green. This sets up a tap in birdie, and it would clear the head of Bowditch and put him back in front, controlling the leaderboard. So on to the final few holes, Will McKenzie trying to get to the clubhouse, posting a number, make it seven under par. McKenzie would wait and watch. Daniel Summerhays, Birdie at 14. Summer Hayes throwing his name into the hat. T shot at 16. Had a solid finish here a year ago. This is the beautiful par three with the hazard right in the center of it. He brings it in off the left side. And Summer Hayes, that would be a birdie. And so now, Stephen Bowditch scrambling at 17. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. With all eyes on him, he was able to scramble once again. Finds the green, two putts from there. He would take a two-shot lead to the final hole. And after a short tap-in for bogey, Steven Bowditch has his first win on the PGA Tour, winning by a shot over Summer Hayes and McKenzie. We move on to the Shell Houston Open. Join us noon Eastern on Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio, also available on PGATour.com, Golf Channel, 3 p.m. Eastern.